Uh, where did I leave off at? I just want, like watching this. That's such a neat car. Didn't think I'd ever catch it on. Oh, there they go. I don't want to see them. Yeah, it's a convertible. All right, well, too much fun. All right, let me zoom out to where I'm at. It's what? Uh, 4 May 1930 in the evening. And where did I leave off at? I left, oops, left off at that tape stuck in the machine. Well, let me say it like this. I got out my camera here and uh, turn that on. Okay, so I normally do this in sight with the computer full screen so I can move the picture around and all that, but here's the front of it as I finally, anyway, so that's uh, what, the bottom and then the, that end and then the other end and then the, the top right, and then the back and the battery compartment and then you uh, pull the door out okay you have to angle it the right way and just pull it straight up or not straight up but angle it you understand All right, so there's that and then what um, that's just the other view of the thing <clears throat> then you flop it open okay and and you disconnect the speakers. I take a picture. That's what I keep telling everybody. Take a picture. I've never opened the thing up before. I just keep taking pictures of all this stuff. All right? Picture of that side. Picture of that side. Picture of the center. Hey, you know. Uh, what I do? And then there's the, the model I'm working on. Let's see here. And so, what, a 3 58 3-588A, okay, and just there's a tape deck again, and whatever that is, the tuner, and taking it out, and another picture, and then just trying to see the underside of how the belts run, another picture of seeing how the belts run, and then, I don't know what I'm pointing at, I can't remember all this stuff, that's why I take a zillion pictures. pictures that where that, that was simply where what, what what it was holding up and then just where that screw went and more stuff details here's now I know you probably can't see it terribly well but in this picture here that motor drives a small square belt at the bottom and then on top of that is the flat belt Okay, so there's another picture of the motor. Again, the flat belt's on top and the square belt's on the bottom. So you have to put the square belt on first with the flat belt on top and then put the flat belt on while maintaining the square belt on. Make, got it? Make that? Got it. That's so darn tedious. That took me an hour and a half to finagle that. So that was just way too much fun for me, but I got it done. This reminds me of the uh, Gold Star TSR 801 or 800, your choice. The third are the three belts, the big one's a flat, and the middle one is the one driven by the motor, and the smaller one is driven by the flywheel. Okay, and here I'm measuring them, the old ones, so I get an idea as to what on how to put them. Okay. Of course, I did put all new belts. That's how the speaker comes out. Uh, the uh, speaker is connected. Anyway, uh, I didn't take it all the way out. I just took that. Nice to know what that looks like. And then the inside, of course. And then here is... Um, now, both of these have base trouble, but the blue one has Dolby, whereas the other one does not have Dolby. That's basically the difference, but they both have bass and treble controls, and they both get kind of loud and sound quite good on the bass note for what they are. And it's just another view, and that should be my last picture. Yes, because here I opened up another General Electric. So let me just stop that. Right? Put the camera down on the ground, and 
move the camera back a bit. Because like I said, it's late in the day here. Now, if I don't hit the camera with my foot, I should be able to reach over and play. Make the volumes up. Okay. And hit play. Well, I didn't have it. I have it on. That's right. Well, what did I do wrong? Okay. Play. Should be something on here, right? Put it in tape. Yes. And uh, so we're recording on the GE Blue. It is 3 April. April? It's 3 May. Mom just closed the door. And that's all that little recording is. Okay, so let me hit stop. Let me hit record, and let me say today is, what is today? What did I say? Today is the 4th of May, 2020, okay? Let me hit the, let me start that over. Here, hit the, okay, it's the 4th of May, 2020, in the afternoon, we're out here in the grass with a tape deck, and we'll flip it over to radio at the four point. Tape, hit rewind, go back to, well, that's too far. Here, hit play. 2020, okay. Record. And let me say today is, what is today? What did I say? Today is the 4th of May, 2020, okay. Let me hit the, let me start that over. Here, hit the, okay, it's the 4th of May, 2020. In the afternoon, we're out here in the grass with a tape deck. We'll flip it over to radio at the four point. So it records off the radio. It records my voice. It looks like this in the back. It's, let's see if I can do this without. Wait, can I see that in the camera? I can't. No, I can't. Wait, there we go. I'm running this off of the four Zentner batteries that I have. So there they are. I only got four of them. I wish I had two more. I'm trying to get more, but I'm trying to be really slow with mailing. And then here is the uh, here is the here's the model number again. Okay, it's for sale if anyone's interested. I haven't set a price yet, but I will. Um, that's all I know. So it's been re oh, let me get a, uh, a standard tape so you know what it sounds like. So here's a Prince Radio Gaga, right? So hit that out. I had another tape around here somewhere, but I misplaced it. Anyway, okay. What I brought another tape. Hit play. <laughs> sell that music but you heard that sound pretty oh it fell on the ground okay well everything falls on the ground all right I kick that out throw in a little bit of um, uh, foreigner okay so foreigner and hit play and then of course sell that music but it's got good bass it's got good sound it's got good stereo separation uh, did I play the radio no I didn't play the radio let's play the radio let's hear radio goodbye as the kids looked at and said the guy yes, and he's familiar with the American healthcare system he two words has to describe down. how America's handling the coronavirus amazed and depressed he thinks the U.S. has one of the best healthcare systems in the world, but he said the U.S. in this case has yeah. failed because it did not prepare for what was about to hit it despite having two months lead time on this. Most people I'm speaking to here in Berlin are not impressed with America's response. As we've seen, the coronavirus has been a litmus test for good governance, and Germans are feeling pretty good about how their government responded to the pandemic. And Chancellor Angela Merkel's approval ratings are at historic highs. Well, 
Anyway, it sounds good and looks like that in the afternoon sun and I've been wanting to make this video but I haven't had a chance to do it because of other uh, things I have to do, keep doing. Uh, let's see here, let me, well, uh, let's do this, let's see here, uh, back to the radio, right? Atomic impact payment per child. If you do not act by May 5th, you must wait until next year to get those payments. Go to irs.gov and enter your information in the non-filer tool by May 5th. That's irs.gov. This message produced by Social Security that's and looks U.S. Like, taxpayer that's what it sounds like and The game is about to start. Get like your face out your phone. Just a minute. I'm completing the 2020 <laughs> census. <laughs> Why do you care? Listen, Gotta, the census will impact how and where public funds will flow in our there. communities each year. There is the county, antenna. We'll get better okay. funding for our schools, even affordable housing. <laughs> wow. Like well, that. I'm going to complete the census now. That's all I know. So good day, bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed. I got to go. Complete the census online by phone or by mail. Shape your future. Start here.